Well, Dave, we're staying a little more clear this time around. This is, though, the latest real estate purchased by Ken Griffin, part of what local brokers are calling the Citadel effect. Citadel's move for, for its headquarters from Illinois to Miami, causing a boost in prices on both the residential and the office market. The company just bought a two and a half acre parcel off Brickell for $333 million. That is more than 20 times what the buyer paid for it back in 2000. The company also paying less than just under $300 million for a temporary office building while they build that new headquarters. The brokers say that lots of other companies are calling them now after the Citadel announcement to follow Citadel's lead. These are big companies, these are smart companies, and when people read about, you know, like a company like Citadel coming down here and opening up an office, they realize they must have, you know, these are smart guys that must have done the due diligence, and so it just becomes the herd mentality. Very smart guys and very wealthy guys. So this house that Ken Griffin just bought here on Star Island is 16,000 square feet. It's about two acres, and it's likely that Ken will tear it down because he's actually bought four properties here on Star Island that will become his new home. And it's just about an 18-minute commute to their new headquarters over on Brickell. Guys? Uh, amazing the demand it may be creating. You know, as for Griffin himself, I mean, you've reported he still owns an enormous amount of real estate other places too, doesn't he, Robert? Yeah, so he's still got the most expensive home in Chicago. He's got the most expensive home in New York and America with that $240 million apartment just off Central Park South. He just bought that Calvin Klein place in the Hamptons in 2020. And then he's got all these properties here. And he is building the most expensive home in America in Palm Beach. That will be 25 acres. That will be larger than Mar-a-Lago with a 44,000 square foot home he's building in Palm Beach for what he says is for his mom. <laughs> Robert, when, whenever you hear um, hedge fund manager or anyone else of that ilk moving to Florida, you think taxes immediately. Um, is there any kind of benefit to Citadel, to Griffin himself, uh, moving the empire down to Florida other than just really nice weather as it appears that you're enjoying today? Well, I, I think it's the nice weather. It's got to be the taxes for somebody like him who makes over a billion dollars a year in income, uh, setting aside the carried interest issues. But what Ken has said over and over, and he just told the Chicago Tribune again this week, that what he loves about South Florida, Miami, is the optimism here. He said, you don't have to talk about crime every day when you're at dinner with people. He said, people are really talking about the future, about growing their business. And he said, you just don't get that in Illinois or New York. So yes, it's probably a lot about the money and the cost in doing business here. And the fact that a lot of very skilled workers now want to live in South Florida. But he says it's also about the environment, which he thinks could also help grow the business faster than if they stayed in Illinois or continued expanding in New York. Yeah. Uh, it's going to build a bigger seawall behind you, Robert, you know, speaking about the future? Probably. Now that we're here, he's probably going to build a barrier so that we can't come out here as much once he builds a new house. Yeah. <laughs> I was also talking about the possibility of rising sea levels overall and what that'll mean. But fascinating to right. watch. He's still rocking That's out true. there. I, th I think you should take a shot at it. Go, f go for it, Robert. Get on the land. Give us a, a close-up view of what he's going to knock down. <laughs>